Good morning, my fabulous grade threes. I hope that you are all doing brilliantly. Wondrous little bugs. Uh, okay, we are going to do some drama today. Um, I've actually quite enjoyed um, having a theme of bugs and insects and find lots of different things and stories and poems. Um, I hope that you found a great space in your house to act out. And if it's a beautiful day, you can go into the garden. Okay, right, let's start, grade threes. Okay, tongue twister time. Friendly fleas and fireflies. 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 Try it with me. Friendly fees, fleas. And fireflies, friendly fleas and fireflies, friendly fleas and fireflies. So you have to get your mouth around those words. Okay, so let's just do this. You're going to pretend that you have put one of those really big sweets in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And it becomes like toffee. Okay, now let's try that tongue twister again. Friendly fleas and fireflies. Friendly fleas and fireflies. Well done. It's actually easier when you do that, isn't it? Okay, well done. Today, we are going to go on a movement journey. I'm going to tell you a story and then you are going to act it out. Okay. This is called The Scary Tree Dream. All right. So I want you to close your eyes. Okay, and we're going on an adventure. Excellent. Open your eyes. All right, you are ready to go on this. You've got to pack your bags. So get your bag. We're going to mine this out. So get your bag. And what kind of things do you want to take with you? Hmm. So if I was going on an adventure, I'd probably want uh, my sleeping bag. Okay, what other things could we take? What about a, I've got a survival book that in case anything happens, you can flip through there and you can have a look and then you can see exactly what, if it's a snake bite, if it's a cut, if it's a bruise, if it's whatever. So I'd put that in there. Um, I'd definitely put some water in or two water bottles in. Okay. So you put everything in your bag, some clothes, your water, extra pair of shoes, maybe your swimming costume, excellent. Now, we are going to walk very quickly because you are so happy that you're going on this adventure. Okay, so even if it's a small room, you're gonna walk, 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 walk around the room. Excellent, walk, 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 walk. All right, you come to a hill and you decide you should go up it. The sun is getting hotter and hotter and I want you to be like, oh, it's getting tiring, so remember to act it out. And your body is getting very tired, yes. And show how tired you are. And you begin to climb slower and slower and slower up this mountain. You're very, very thirsty. Okay, so take out your water and pretend to drink some water. Oh. Excellent. And put the top back on, put it into your bag. Now you reach the top of the hill. And there is a beanstalk, a beanstalk. Oh, you climb up the beanstalk to the very top, 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 top. <gasps> and you reach a beautiful meadow. You decide that it's time for a picnic. Excellent. You see a lovely tree and you go and sit in the shade. You get, you eat your picnic lunch and you lie down to take a nap lie down and the grass is so nice and um, slightly wet, nice and cool because you're so hot from climbing that mountain, okay? You have a dream that the tree above you is moving and it starts to move. The branches are trying to grab you. You leap up and scream, ah! The branches are almost wrapping around you. You have one second to get away. You grab your bag and you run to the beanstalk and quickly make your way back down to the ground. You can hear the tree 
trying to run after you. Hey, wait for me! You run all the way home, lock the doors and climb into your cosy bed. Then suddenly, you realise that it was a dream all along. You were napping the whole time. <laughs> Excellent. I hope that you enjoyed acting that out. Okay, right. Today, grade three, is so you are going to do a poem for me. So, I, you will see in your uh, work that the teachers have sent to you that there are a few poems. So, if there's a poem that you want to do, that you would like to do, that is not here, then you can do that. But if you would like to do one of these poems, that's perfect. So, I'm going to read through them with you. Okay. So, um, you can either... So, we are going to... Then you are going to send it to me. Okay. So, my head... Um, this hat was getting a little bit irritating. All right. Remember to say, I'm doing a poem by... So, if it's the title is um, Strict... And the poet's name is Michael Rosen. Okay, so you've always got it. For example, I'm doing My Neighbor's Dog is Purple by Jack Prelatsky. Okay, it's quite quite a tricky surname, that. Prelatsky. Jack Prelatsky. Okay, you don't have to say it like that. You can say Jack Prelatsky. Oh, Jack Prelatsky. It's, it's fine. Okay, so now there is a link I want you to watch a famous children's poet and author called Michael Rosen. He is on YouTube and I've put the link on there. And it is, he is absolutely brilliant. All of his poems are brilliant. But the way that he tells the poems are so superb. So I want you to watch that. Okay. Then I want you to watch Strict where he talks about a teacher that is so strict that you can't even breathe. It is terrifying. All right, so I want you to watch that. Okay, so remember, when you perform, you mustn't do, there once was a teacher who was so strict that she wouldn't even let us breathe. Do you think that's interesting? No, but if you go, oh, there was once a teacher that wouldn't even let us breathe. Okay, much better. All right. Okay, so I want you to put lots of expression in. And I want you to change your voice by pace. So you go faster, faster, faster. Or slower, slower, slower. And louder and softer. Okay, and you can even pause. So you say, once there was a man. Who like to eat ice cream? <laughs> okay. All right. Don't forget your facial expressions and your gestures. All right. Okay. So you will see when Michael Rosen um, acts out, and one of his one of my favorite poems of his is called Chocolate Cake. It is just fabulous. All right. This poem is called My Neighbor's Dog Is Purple. There is strange to have a purple dog. You know. Yes. Okay, my neighbor's dog is purple. His eyes are large and green. Its tail is almost endless, the longest I have seen. My neighbor's dog is quiet. It does not bark one bit. But when my neighbor's dog is near, I feel afraid of it. My neighbor's dog looks nasty. It has a wicked smile. Before my neighbor painted it, it was crocodile. Oh, no wonder to be scared of that. I'd also be scared of a crocodile. How ridiculous to, to have a crocodile and pretend that it's a dog. I mean, really? Okay, now I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see properly. Okay, then this is a short little poem called The Little Turtle. There was a little turtle. He lived in a little box. He swam in a puddle. He climbed on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea and snapped at a minnow. And, it's, and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. But he didn't catch me. <laughs> okay, that's the little turtle. All right. And the next poem is called 
Keep a poem in your pocket. Keep a poem in your pocket and a picture in your head. And you'll never feel lonely at night when you're in bed. The little poem will sing to you and the little picture bring to you a dozen little dreams at night when you're in bed. Keep a picture in your pocket and a poem in your head. And you'll never feel lonely at night when you're in bed. Don't you think that's a lovely poem? Oh, and I didn't say who the poet was. That was um, Beatrice Schrenk. Schenk. Okay. I saw my teacher. Now, this is another poem. Um, this is by Dave Crawley. So, I know what you like when you all see teachers at the shop. And some you go, oh, there's my teacher. And some you go, oh, there's my teacher. Quickly hide. Yes. All right. So, this is called, I saw my teacher on a Saturday. Because teachers shouldn't be out on Saturday. They should go back to their, I don't know, hidey holes where they, where all the teachers live. All right. Saw my teacher on Saturday. I can't believe it's true. I saw her buying groceries like normal people do. She reached for the bread and turned around and then she caught my eye. She gave a smile and said, hello. I thought that I would die. Oh, hi, Miss Appleton. I mumbled like a fool. I guess I thought the teacher types spent all their time at school. To make the situation worse, my mom was at my side. So many rows of jars and cans, so little room to hide. Oh, please, I thought. Don't tell my mom what I did yesterday. I closed my eyes and held my breath and hoped she'd go away. Some people think it's fine to let our teachers walk about, but when it comes to Saturdays, they shouldn't let them out. <laughs> I love that. Isn't it a wonderful poem? Okay, now this is a wonderful poem, another wonderful poem about a mosquito. Now all of you know to have a little mosquito in the middle of the night. <laughs> It is so irritating and you just want to go crazy. Yes? All right. Today I met a mosquito. It wasn't very fun. She bit me here. She nipped me there. And she even bit my bum. But I had the last laugh. I squashed her with my thumb. <laughs> All right. Well done. That was the, that was the last poem. Um, that was just a little poem to end the day. Uh, don't choose that poem because it's really, really short, the mosquito poem. But choose another one. And if you've got a favorite one or you want one of Michael Rosen's ones, that's absolutely fine. Okay, let me know what you liked about the lesson. Until next time, see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, get a shake. In a, in a snake, get a shake. In a snake, get a shake. Hit the road, happy toad. Hit the road, happy toad. Toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Can't stay, Blue Jay. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give me a hug, ladybug. Give me a hug, ladybug. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Till then, penguin. Adios, hippos. Adios, hippos. Hasta mañana, iguana. Hasta mañana, iguana. Give me a kiss, goldfish. Get in line, porcupine. Get in line, porcupine. Oh, I didn't say give me a kiss, goldfish again. 
Out the door, dinosaur. Out the door, dinosaur. On the bus, octopus. On the bus, octopus. To your house, quiet mouse. Excellent. Well done, grade threes. I can't wait to see what the poem you send me. Okay. And remember, you can pick it from anywhere. You can pick it. You can choose it from anywhere. And you can choose it either from one of mine or from one of the others. Okay. Grade threes, I miss you. I can't wait to see you. And I will see you next week. Bye.